Good morning cellmates. Um, today I'm going to be dipping, I'm doing some dipping with the pre-made pouring paints from, um, I'm doing double triple dipping with these pouring paints from Montmart. They're pre-made pouring paint so nothing added, nothing taken away. You can use them as is. I have already poured some into cups that I did um, another art piece with and I, I did to my pieces just add one drop of, of the Helmar silicon these paints are available in the US on Amazon or eBay in Australia we have we're lucky enough to have a Capriol Shabby Chic online acrylic art supplier and that's in the drop down box there or if you pop over to my acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page you'll find the links to um, the materials that I use and um, lots of nice little tidbits over there if you'd like to join me on my acrylic art page as well I am on I do post uh, photos of my artwork on Instagram so yeah find me a bit all over the place so this is what I'm doing today what I've, what I've got is I've got a canvas under there and I'm not actually going to use this canvas but I've pulled off a canvas sheet and these are on a um, I think our art supplier that supplies them on a uh, like a pad of canvas sheet so I'm actually going to pour my dipping paint onto this canvas sheet I'm going to dip canvases on it and then I'll also hopefully have some use for the canvas afterwards um, I'll just play it by ear of what we're going to do so I've just got that canvas sheet on top of there it's just another uh, little thing that I've got in my brain that may work and may not work so I will basically do just a rough guesstimate of where I need my paints so it's sort of I need them in that area um, so I'll put the little canvases to the side sort of got that area to work with and I'm gonna happily go along with my um, pouring paints and I like doing chevron patterns for these dippers what I call them double dippers well this will probably be a triple dipper these little chevron patterns just create such a lovely effect on your dipped canvases I have found but obviously you can um, do whatever you choose on them but this is just where I found works really nicely for me so it may very well do for you too just I'll kind of just do an outline of where I want to go because I, I will eventually use all these bits of paint even if I don't use it on these two canvases I can uh, I like to dip the edge of the canvas in in edges and so I've got an, a painting that's all dipped in the edges you can dip it in and dip it onto you can use your leftovers to dip and dip the edges onto a plain canvas which I did with this one then I just embellished it with some palm leaves my, my interpretation of it anyway so there's so many ideas um, to do from this dipping technique I just have to check whether I've still got you with me because this silly camera keeps telling me I've got no uh, memory but then when I take it I stop it all then it has got memory so I don't know what's going on so that was the turquoise in the uh, pouring paint and this is the coral beautiful colors like I said I did put one dr only one drop of the Helmar silicon which I love that silicon it's my favorite I always get good results from it but what I like about it the most is that it doesn't leave that silicon residue on your finished canvas hardly any silicon on it whatsoever so that's what I really like about it. 
So that's the coral and the turquoise. Um, put in, this is the oh, yeah, light blue, just yeah, very technical, light blue, yeah. Just merrily go along your way, relaxing as you go, because this really is such a, a relaxing therapy, almost gives you that time to recharge your batteries that you're in your little art um, mode where you're creating some art, whether it be for yourself or for sale. Just gives you that, it's basically the best therapy at a very cheap cost. So this is bright red. I think, oh, here she goes with her colours again. I really want to put a pop of colour in here. Not so much so for my um, bland colours. If you follow my art, you'll know that I go for pops of colours. But I think next week I am going to mix some colours for um, the people that my usual colour offends their eye <laughs> I'll just go for some um, autumn shade colours just gonna you know you've got to keep mixing it up and trying different things because you often surprise yourself people that don't like colour will then try it and think oh my god that bright makes me feel so much brighter and alive to see some colour on canvas different strokes for different folks as we've all learnt over the time in our lives I reckon okay I'm going to pop some navy in here keeping with the chevron the chevron -y look the chevron pattern of pouring you can try all sorts, you can try circles and blobs and whatever your heart desires, it's your journey, nobody else's. It's your art journey, isn't it? So I've just got the crazy streak in me of um, the mad professor that I just love experimenting. And you know what, if it doesn't turn out, it's like, it's just a learning process just learn something from it if you don't then that's all good too no rules my rules are there's no rules okay so that was the navy I'm gonna just have a squirt of the purple I want to throw some of this dark purple in the mix so I am pouring this directly from the bottle so it's the Montmartre pouring paints give them a real good shake they're really highly pigmented so wear some gloves hey doki a wee bit of see i'm still going a wee bit of black that's very dark navy in there. I suppose it looks like black, but I just want a bit of contrast. It'll add depth to it and it will make it pop even further. It'll make it pop. So just some, whatever you feel like doing, you don't have to do it the same as what I'm doing. You can take off the basic techniques of the pour as you see, and then make it your own. Absolutely. The rules are there's no rules. Remember that. So this is the gold. I'm going way out here because but this amount of paint that I'm putting on there could make quite a lot of dips. And I'm pretty certain that when you lift the dipped canvas up, it will look nothing like <laughs> what you're seeing on here. Oh good, probably get four or five dips. Triple dipping on canvas sheets, so let's go for it. 
I will, yeah, I'll drop it in there. I've got, um, I've got a sheet, a baking tray ready to put my dipped work onto, so it'll have to be out of the frame for a second till I. So I'll just press it in all around. Just press it. You could use something. You could use a bit of pressure on it, like a, anything really. I just use my fingers. Somebody said they use a roll, a brush. I just find my fingers are enough because I've got so much paint on under there. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be well and truly. Oh, okay. Me bad. I was wrong. Go for it again. There you go. I never pressed it down. So you press 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 so you're obviously transferring the paint onto the canvas that you've got if you want to keep your canvas nice and clean underneath what I normally do is I tape it all off and even you can put a, a paper sheet if you want to keep this all clean if you are selling your work or you're gifting it it's obviously very nice to keep it nice and clean so I'll try it again okay well that wasn't such a good one not happy Jen with that one but this is what I would do with this if it's something I'm not happy with this is the little blown up balloon this is not got the water in it but actually it would be much better with the water in it is you can use a bit of paint off there push it in push it in and you get these lovely little effects if you've got places that you're not happy with just push your little balloon in little tiny balloon even if it's just a few I'm just gonna set that aside got some lovely cells coming up in that show you again in a minute but we'll go for the next one I'll take it in from the top I'll just leave that there a second and show you this one so I would probably do a little bit more work with that like as it dries are probably tiny little balloons just a few tiny balloons and look at the lacing effect that's coming up in that that will dry beautifully I know it will I will show you as we go along I'll turn that around actually I like the bits of gold that are coming up in that so I could probably add some more gold to that so it's just pressing your edges down like I said, if you if there's bits that you've got missing paint when you lift it up, you can either finger pop it, you could either push it back in your paint, but I just have found this effect, you know, is, well, this little balloon is it's just a balloon and it's just got a bit of water in, so it gives a little bit of weight and it really gives, pardon me, a nice effect. So I use that. Here we go. Ooh, that one. It's got a big area, but never fear. So what I'll do is with my balloon, I'll pop it in some colours that I want in there. Just press it in. If it isn't what you like at first, you can build it up. It'll build up. It'll be beautiful. Go back over areas if you don't like them. No set rules, remember? The rule is there's no rules. So, it's coming on. All this is starting to pop up. Gives a nice effect. You find a little, oh, bit of red and gold. I want a bit more in there. So, put a bit, bit in there. Just the teeny tiny water balloons can add such a lovely effect in there probably more so when it's dried off a bit so that probably would be the go for me is to let it dry a little bit more any areas you don't like or you think oh a little balloon pop will have a lovely effect to that area then do it do it do it okay so I'll leave that one over there with that one Probably dried off a bit more so yeah these little balloons filled with a little bit of water had some nice delicate effects 
to your finished product. Now what else do I want to show you? What was going to dip in that? So obviously there's a heap of paint there I can continue playing with. Just trying to find the canvas that I could have sworn I had a canvas ready. Right. What I'm going to show you, I'm just because I'm not really... What I want to show you is if you have plain canvas or whatever canvas, you can dip it. Use your canvas to dip in the sides. You can either use that as a nice edge for a canvas that you are preparing or you can dip this canvas. Okay, I've used the blue. That's where me, um, there's me w wondering where my canvas went and it's underneath. This is my canvas sheet. I will drag it to the side, try and move them over so you can see me doing both at once. So this is another thing that you can do is just dip your canvas on. It just does another effect. Probably I should have used a smaller canvas to use for the dipping tool. But that's the one I had there. If I had pre-painted the back of that canvas or with a pour and then you can do this to do add your tree bark to the paw to embellish a paw so there's all sorts of ideas these look like totem poles so they don't really float my boat at the moment but some of them come out gorgeous that just I'm not sure if you're getting me dipping it in but I'm sure you get the gist it's just another way of um, embellishing a paw or pla playing in paint basically play in paint it's very enjoyable very therapeutic so that looks like candy bar stripes doesn't it <laughs> I'm going way off tether now so I think I will show you my finished product on the dips and Okay, you did get to see a bit of my craziness, my um, totem poles there or uh, candy bar sticks, but I'll work out what to do with that just as I did with my other one that I just added the palm trees to. Um, and like, and if you've got a, a, a canvas that you're not, you know, you've got a pour on it, you can add these embellishments to the tree trunks and create a tree out of them all sorts of things you could do to them so there's all wonderful ideas there and I'll bring this back over to show you guys oh, that's it. put it there for a second there's me thinking I've got all the room in the world and I'm finding that I need more room let's move this out of the way pull that one aside I'll work on that after but I just want to concentrate on these now so I don't lose the effects in these because they are really quite gorgeous. So, bring them up to you. I would probably normally just leave those to develop a bit further than that and then use my, like I said, my little water blue, dip them into the paint where you wanted some more embellishment um, okay, say so here. Then you've got these lovely, lovely little embellishments. It doesn't take much. I know you can go crazy and put your embellishments everywhere, but you know, it's, well, that's up to you, isn't it? It's your painting. It doesn't matter what anybody else tells you to do. It's your artwork. You enjoy it. And if somebody wants to buy it off you or you want to gift it then all the better those will dry beautifully so i think i probably messed about with this one too much and i'm still going to mess about with it look at me love the process though love and enjoy the process thank you guys for watching that was a lot of fun enjoyed doing that i've got so much going on here with all this paint now i'm there i'm gonna um try and do something else with that 
but these are the main little beauties that I wanted you to see me doing and um, obviously those pouring paints work on dips too and you haven't got no mixing I'll give you a close-up on them see what you think then I'm going to have a nice cup of coffee and a piece of Christmas cake and enjoy some more family fam bam time look at those little beauties they're very pretty very lovely to give as gifts if you do like the uh, triptych two three or four and you can oh have I got the idea that I wanted to show you oh okay next time I've got like a long frame and you can put four of these little canvases in the frame and it looks so effective so I'll give you I'll show you next time but those are really gorgeous little um, gifts they're gorgeous they sell well like that too you don't have to sell them for a lot just get your work moving get yourself out there and well you don't even have to sell them if you want to re-gift them and you're doing the painting for your therapy all good okay thanks for joining me again thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i appreciate each and every one of you if you haven't subscribed please do so if you have subscribed just check that you're still subscribed because uh, youtube's taking off subscribers for whatever reason um until next time See you again next time, mate. Okay, bye for now.